Hello, ladies and uh, gentlemen, a very warm welcome from Leverkusen. I am pleased uh, being a part of uh, this um, round table with Jeremy Frimpong. And uh, of course, he's joining us here in the press conference room in Leverkusen. And I know you don't want to talk to me, but to him. And that's the reason why I give you the opportunity to give your questions to us. And we're starting with Philipp Ahrens. Hi, Jeremy. Um, how about uh, your injury yesterday? You came in uh, to the game and had to leave, to leave the pitch uh, about 20 minutes later. Um, can you tell us uh, how you feel today? Um, yes, I feel a lot better today. Um, I feel like in a few days I'll be fine. So, yeah, it's not, it's not serious. Okay, another question. Just break the ice. Sahil Yaitka, is this correct? Yeah, it's close enough, thank you. Uh, Jeremy, how are you doing? Um, obviously, it's been a while since you've um, sort of arrived in Germany and settled in. Can you just tell us how that's been for you, obviously, moving from Scotland and moving from uh, from Celtic? Um, yeah, it's been really exciting uh, to move to Germany. Obviously, at the start, it was a bit um, hectic, but now I've settled in really good. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. A question by Mr. Henry, is it right? Hi, uh, yeah, it's Joe Hendry from Go Radio in Glasgow. Ah. Um, Jeremy, were you surprised to hear the news that um, Neil Lennon has, of course, left your old club Celtic last week? Yeah, I was really surprised, and I felt I, I felt that as well because um, he went everything to the club, like everything he did was for the club, and yeah, I was really surprised. Mark you Hendry. said you'd always. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Now continue, please. I was just going to say, you know, you said before that you'd always be thankful to Neil um, for giving you that senior start. And I was just wanting to get a sense from you a little bit more of how you felt about him and what he was like to, to play for. Yeah, like, obviously, um, Neil Lennon is the first manager to ever, like, pick me for professional football. So I'm always going to be grateful to him. And playing under Neil Lennon was amazing. Like, just the advice he would give me played in a good team as well. Yeah, it was just, a, I had an amazing time at Celtic. Mark Henry. Hi, Jeremy, how you doing? Um, obviously, you mentioned Neil there and, and you spoke about how much you enjoyed playing with him and, and sort of the gratefulness. Do you think the, the criticism that, that Neil received this season from Celtic supporters, considering all the, the success that, that he had and that the club had in the last few years was was a bit sort of over the top? How, how do you see it and, and now? Now that you're out of that sort of goldfish bowl? Um, I think in football, um, obviously Celtic, um, previous years, they'll always win games. And there was always going to be a point where they can't win everything. So there's going to be, there's always going to be a time where we'll have to, they'll have to lose. So the criticism, uh, the criticism um, Neil Lennon was getting was a bit over the top. Because in football, it's, it's normal. It's normal. But I feel, I feel like um, Celtic, The fans, they were so used to winning that when every, when it started going down, they didn't know like how to feel about it. But it's it's normal to feel like that. So, yeah. Christian Kramer. Yeah, hello. Um, you had a difficult start here with the team in Leverkusen. You uh, lost in the National Cup and you um, lost to Bern in the uh, Europa League. Uh, what gives you hope that you still reach um, like the Champions League or uh, what? Um, obviously, that's that's our goal. Obviously, the past results we've had has been disappointing because um, we've we've been giving it our all, but the results are not just they're not going our way. But yeah, to get Champions League, that's our goal. So yeah, we're gonna do whatever it takes to get there. Sahil Yadka, once again, please. Jeremy, can you tell us, um, there, there was talk, obviously, there was players that wanted to leave 
leave Celtic. Was that something that was uh, the same for you, or like, what made you want to join Bayer Leverkusen? Um, obviously, their history and um, the Bundesliga, Germ Germany. I felt like that's, that would be a great challenge for me. And so that's what made me think of Bayer Leverkusen. Was it something that, like, there was obviously, Neil spoke about players wanting to leave the club and didn't want to be part of that um, that journey in his team. Was that something that, did you did you sort of feel once the season wasn't going well, was that something that you wanted to maybe get away from? No, of course not. Um, obviously, this opportunity came and then I was thinking about my development. So, and I thought, um, in this time, the German league will suit me for my development. So... That's 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 what I went with. Can I just also ask, like you you spoke really highly about Neil there, and you praised him in terms of him giving you that opportunity. John was somebody in the background uh, with Neil that sort of um, helped the team, and a lot of players have spoke highly of him. Do you think he would be the right man to lead Celtic going forward? Um, John Kennedy. Yeah. Um, um, I, I, when I was there, he was he was really good. Like. Him and Neil they're both good, so for me, why not? Yeah. Thank you. Miss Henry. Just to pick up on, on that point there, there was also some chat this week. It was put to Scott Brown if he would be interested in, in management one day or, or even putting himself forward at the end of the season. What do you make of Scott and if he would get a bit I know about your shit skills, but you know, how would you feel about you know what's your opinion on Scott maybe getting into that in the future? Um, yeah, if he wanted to be a manager, I feel like he would be a great manager. Just the way he speaks, the way he motivates the players. Just he he knows a lot about the game. Obviously, he's been he's been in the game for a long time, so he's experienced. So I feel like he would be a great manager. Yeah. Obviously, you've not you've not been in Germany long. Um, but how how does it compare so far, even just in terms of training and intensity wise? Is there a difference? Um, I'll say I'll say it's it's just it's just the same. <laughs> when I was at Celtic, we'd do the same uh, sessions, so I feel I feel like it's the same. So yeah. Philip Evans. Jeremy, when you came to, to Leverkusen, uh, your club was still in uh, three competitions on the way, but now it's just only the Bundesliga. Um, yeah, how can you describe what, what, what happened in the last week to, uh, from your beginning at the game in, uh, in Essen when you came in as a substitute? Yeah, um, like I said before, the results, they've not been going our way. But obviously, we've put ourselves in that situation, so all we can do is just look forward. Mark Henry once again. Yeah, just to pick up on something um, that Joe said earlier on about Scott Brown. Obviously, he um, there's talk about coaching and, and management, things like that. What kind of thing did he do, sort of day to day, with yourself, and, and how was he for a, a younger player coming through who hadn't necessarily played as much sort of men's football, and how sort of vital was he in your development to that point? Um, yeah, when I first came. Um, when we, when I first played my match, he was just telling me like what I should do, what's best for me in this position. He was like, use your ability when you go forward, go and attack them. Um, you're the fastest in the league. Use that. They won't catch you. Just things like that. And then defensively as well, he was telling me like um, about my positioning. So um, I can't always like rely on my speed. If you put yourself in a better position, you don't even have to use your speed. Just things like that because obviously he's more experienced. So he was just giving me little things like this and it really helped because look at where I am today. So, yeah, I'll always be grateful. Mr. Jadka. Uh, we can't hear you now. We can't hear you. Sorry. Uh, you, you said there, look at where you are today. Can you just tell me when you found out a club like Bayer Leverkusen were interested in you and you had the opportunity to move to the Bundesliga First of all, just what was going through your head at that moment and obviously the size of the fee involved compared to the fee you joined Celtic for? Um, yeah, when I first heard uh, that they were interested in me, at first I was shocked because obviously I came from nowhere. So to hear uh, by Leverkusen what it me was, was a shock to me. Obviously I was happy as well, but it was a shock. 
So yeah, it was a good feeling. And you sort of just touched on there about how Scott was with you and how he helped you develop. Can I just ask, how um, how difficult was it um, around January time once um, once you and the team came back from Dubai and there was so much noise? How did you find dealing with that? And just what was the what was the mood around the camp like? Um, just thinking about the title race and just um, everything else that was getting spoke about outside of the club. How difficult a time was that? Yeah, after we came from Dubai, we just, as a team, we just said to ourselves, we have to kick on again, play the second half and just go there and win everything. So, yeah, um, all the noise from the outside, we just closed that off call. We couldn't think about that. So, yeah, we were just thinking about game after game. So, yeah. Mark Henry. Yeah, I mean, when you came into the club initially, Celtic, um, it was really just sort of win-win-win constantly. So how did, when it, when things started to kind of go a wee bit, you know, different and there was a couple of losses kind of sprinkled in there, how did sort of you deal with that personally? How how, how was your sort of mindset for, for that? Yeah, no one, no one likes losing. Obviously, if you're just used to winning and then you just lose all of a sudden, of course, the feeling there's obviously you're not used to it, so obviously the feeling there is going to be a bit weird to you. So yeah, and obviously I didn't want to feel like that again because I don't like the feeling. But it's like I said, like I said, it's part of football. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. So yeah. Take it, the, the players didn't necessarily take it for granted that they were going to win, but at the same time, being so used to it, sort of week in, week out, it, it must have been a shock to the system. Exactly, like, <laughs> and it's not easy. It's not easy, like, to win games as well. Like, obviously, if you play, if you play teams, they're gonna wanna like show you that we're not easy. So <laughs> to us, it was hard. It was hard as well. So the fans, the Celtic fans, got to think that like throughout the whole year, like through the years, Celtic have just been winning, winning trophies, yeah. and that's that is that is not easy. Like that is something really, really hard to do. And obviously now that um, they went through a spell, like they just get criticised, but it's not easy at all. But yeah, we just move forward from it. I just ask one more about just sort of mentality from the difference between Glasgow and, and obviously Germany. Glasgow and, and Celtic, it is sort of the demand is you have to win every single week. I take it that's sort of the same to a, to a point with, with Leverkusen and, and maybe it's not quite as as um, dramatic if, if you lose one game. I feel like everywhere you go, the demand is to win. Like no one wants to lose. So I feel like in every club, they'll just say the same thing, just win games. So you don't play to lose, <laughs> you play to win. So I just think, yeah, just just win and then everything's good. Miss Henry. Just finally from me on Celtic, Jeremy, you were you were only there for 18 months, but a lot of people that join the club say, you know, the, the fans take to you so much when you get there and it, and it really means a lot to you. How hard is it for you to see now from afar how things have gone, and and I take it you you know you will you will sort of keep up to date with it and and keep in touch with the guys. Yeah, of course. Like um, when I when I first got to Celtic, the fans they made they, they made me feel welcome straight away, and I and I really 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 loved it. Yeah. So obviously, I am gonna miss them for sure because they made me feel at home and everything. Every time, like say like I walk on the street, like, hey from fun. It was just, yeah, I'm going to miss that, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I take it that does, you know, that does add something to it for you to see how sort of badly it, it is. it has gone, having tasted what was some of the fantastic success over the last few years. Yeah, of course, like, sometimes you can't have, you can't have all the happiness sometimes. You've got to go through a rough patch, so, yeah. Sebastian Bergmann. Hi, Jeremy. Um, we know you can play multiple positions. Um, do you expect with the season going forward to play at right back also? What did you say? Sorry. My question was if you expect to play at right back um, with the season going forward. For me, um, wherever the manager puts me, I'll play there. I don't mind. Another question by Mark Henry.
Yeah, sort of um, just going forward with, with Leverkusen now that now that you're used to winning trophies at Parkhead, I take it ambitions and, and things like that have, have changed, and it's it's you know you're wanting to win trophies there as well. Keep that going. Yeah, of course. Everywhere, everywhere I go, I want to win trophies. I play, I play to win trophies. I like the winning feeling. I like to win trophies with the team. So yeah, the ambition has not changed. Like everywhere I go, I want to win. So yeah. Say hello, giant guy. In around a month's time, or just over a month, um, you've got the small matter of uh, taking on Robert Lewandowski, and uh, a few weeks after that, you've got Erling Haaland as well. Just as a player for you, how excited are you at the prospect of that? Yeah, of course. Like I want to play against the best. I want to show my ability to everyone. I want to show everyone what I can do. So of course, it's it's exciting to play games of play against these teams, these players. So yeah. You're in one of the best leagues in Europe now, and there's a lot of talk of like some of your teammates, like Odson Edward and. Uh, Christopher Ayer, like, you know, there's talks of them moving to big, big clubs for big summer moves. Do you think the the style in Germany and the league in Germany is something that those players could do well in? Would you would you like to see any of your former teammates join you and uh, and help you going forward? Like all of, all of the players you mentioned, they are quality players. So I, f- I feel like anywhere they go, they'll fit in. Like they're just they're just that good. So, yeah. And of course, if I do see them, of course I'm going to be happy. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, I have a look around. I guess, Jeremy, here we are. That's it. That's it. I uh, would like to thank you for participation and uh, hopefully we can see each other in reality later on. So, thanks a lot. Greetings from Leverkusen. Thank you, guys. Goodbye. Thank you. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you.